Welcome growers! Today's video will be on managing water quality. In this video we will cover water quality concepts, recommended ranges, adding nutrient and adjusting pH. The most important concepts for water quality are dissolved oxygen, available nutrients, acidity, and water temperature. Oxygen plays an important role in plant growth, helping roots absorb essential nutrients. The Eskits design maintains optimal dissolved oxygen levels for the plants. Oxygen is injected into the water as it flows through the Z pattern and down the spacers to each grow bed. The water level in the Eskit also leaves room for a pocket of air which provides additional oxygen to the roots. The level of available nutrients in hydroponic systems is determined by reading the water's electrical conductivity, or EC. You will gradually want to increase the EC of your water as the plants grow. Seedlings and younger plants should be started at an EC of 0.6 to 0.9. As the plants mature, the EC should be increased to and maintained at 1 to 1.7, depending upon your plant selection. The acidity of water also affects the plant's ability to absorb nutrients. The measurement of acidity used in hydroponics is pH, potential hydrogen. You can apply acids and bases via products such as pH up and pH down to adjust the pH to the ideal range of 5.7 to 6.3, where all essential nutrients are available to the plants. We recommend maintaining water temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures below 60 degrees can slow plant metabolism and temperatures over 78 degrees can increase the likelihood of undesirable bacterial growth and algae blooms. You can test your water quality from the reservoir or at a water outlet. Be careful not to fully submerge the pH probe under the water because this can damage the probe and cause inaccurate readings. When determining how much nutrient to add to your reservoir, make sure to account for the starting EC and pH. There are often small amounts of usable nutrients in your tap water, and the pH can vary depending upon where you live. Nutrients are often sold in sets that include A and B compounds. When adding nutrient to your water, we recommend adding the A nutrient in waiting 5 to 15 minutes before adding the B nutrient. This time period allows the nutrients to sufficiently dissolve into the water and prevent the compounds from bonding, thus becoming unavailable to the plants. It is best to add nutrients to the water before adjusting the pH. Some nutrient formulations can alter the pH of your water, and adding acids or bases before the nutrients are fully dissolved can increase the likelihood of nutrient loss through dissolution. For new growers, a general rule of thumb is to make adjustments in small increments. Add less than you think you need, double check EC and pH, then adjust again if needed. Great job, growers! For more content, visit our website at sanonbious.com or follow us on social media.